Tapos, pinatanggal ng house yung word foundational sa ka-functional. Pinalis na yun. But the content, yung substance, foundational pa rin. Because remember during our floor deliberation, dalawa lang naman yung importante masagot eh. Who are you? Are you who you claim to be? Di ba? Yun lang importante. Kaya yung mga ibang mga additional requirements pa na ano, uh, hindi naman talaga importante because after all, we have all these functional IDs na pwedeng gamitin na ibabackup mo itong national ID na pag nagkalimaw, pumunta ka sa banko, pumunta ka sa pag-ibig, pumunta ka sa LTO, uh, ipapakita mo lang yung ID mo, yung field ID mo, and yung, or yung number mo. Easily, uh, either online or offline, mag-check kung ikaw talaga yon So, mabilis ang transaction, whether it's with government, public, or private. Ako ni Hindi pa kasi susulat yung backup report. So it can take time. Yung Senate because they agreed to adopt the Senate version with minor amendments. May mga suggestions lang sila kung pwedeng may... Basta napaka-substantially, Senate version ng Senate. Sir, kapag napirmahan, ikinan yung implementation? I-enroll, enroll bill. And then pag na-enroll yung bill, punta naman lang kanya, pirmahan nyo. Within 30 days, kailangan pirmahan. Magkakaroon tayo ng IT, national IT system, by this year? Ang implementation, no, this year. This year na talaga. Kasi may initial funding na yun eh, 25 billion. Sir, sorry, yung ratification pa din next week? Ha? Yung ratification po ay next week, hindi uh, lang today. Siguro latest Monday. Hindi, susulat pa yung BICAM report. Pinapapalo ko doon sa, sa committee secretary na madaliin yung sir, sir, BICAM report. Process lang. After nun, sir, maratify by Monday. Maratify ng, maratify ng both houses. Enroll bill, yan. Tapos pahalan kay Pangulo na oh, Within 30 days. Kasi pagka hindi naman napirmahan within 30 days, maglalapsin to law. So, give or take, by June, by June. Uh, end of June, or before the end of June, patas na yan. So, sorry, sorry, yan sa may i-report ni Presidente sa Sona? Uh, I hope so. Kung, kasi this is a landmark legislation. It's been languishing in both houses for 18 years. Ano? Medyo controversial kasi panahon ni President Ramos, uh, na-strike down pa yan ng struck down pa yan ng Supreme Court as unconstitutional simply because kailangan legislate, hindi pwede executive order. Kasi lahat, all encompassing, eh, all 109 na ba tayo? Filipinos uh, should register and uh, acquire their uh, our, our IDs. So, so isang ID na lang sa gagamitin namin? Yun ang backup ID. No? Kasi kung ba SSS, may mga requirements sila na kung member ka ng SS, kamitin mo yung SS ID mo. But madali ka ma-check kung ikaw talaga yun by presenting your, your ID. Or kung mag-open ka ng account sa banko, mag-sesigil ka ng loan, uh, ito na lang ID ito papakita mo. Uh, unlike ngayon, or before it will be passed, di ba, pakita ka ng dalawang government IDs. Maski saan tayo pumunta, di ba, pag nag-transa ka, maski private uh, entities, sabi sa'yo, present two government IDs, ang gusto pa yung may picture. So, ganon. At least, mababawasan yung katakot-takot na ID sa bulsa natin, sa kasabag nyo. Di ba, minsan pag naghahanap kayo ng cellphone, Ang hirap magkalkal kasi ikaw ano nung natatabik dito sa loob ng bag kasi ang daming ID. Sir, aside from yung babawasan yung dami ng IDs, ano yung pinaka-significant ito sir? Security ba? Well, hindi security yung, yun nga, kapag transact ng business. Yes. So, Easier. It will be very convenient. Okay. Yes, kasi may mga safeguards. Uh, yung intrusion into the privacy. Inalis nila, initially meron silang proposed amendment na pwedeng i-monitor ng field sis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>